The following show is brought to you in part by Not Me in Arlington, Massachusetts. Not Me is a nonprofit organization with a mission to promote, advance, and unify self defense education and training for at risk populations. Visit Not Me at www.not me.org. From BaseNet, it's about Los Angeles for stories that will inform, motivate, and inspire you. Now, here's Julie Marie. About Los Angeles. Hi, I'm Julie Marie about Los Angeles, and it's that time of year again. We're here at the 39th annual Ventura County Fair, located in Ventura County. And the, this year's theme is Boots, Barns, and Banjos. What does that mean? Well, we'll find out soon. On the first Saturday in August, a parade celebrates the return of a county tradition in downtown Ventura. Bands march down Main Street playing joyful tunes. City council members waved to onlooking crowds as they rode in classic cars. And mariachi bands shared a little bit of Spanish heritage while riding on top horses in traditional Spanish attire. Residents gathered at the crack of dawn to run up and down the same path as the parade. And yes, they were encouraged to dress in costume. Just have fun. You know, get people in costume, get out, run, be healthy, and yeah, enjoy the day. You can choose to celebrate like it's Halloween or just, you know, race it like a like you're a runner, but um, the whole theme is to have fun and to run fast. See, uh, these are real jockey silks. I used to own racehorses. And I figured, you know, once in a while, maybe the jockey ought to carry the horse. I figured this would be pretty good. And it's easy to run in, and it kept me very warm. Oh, it was pretty fun. I've never actually run with a cowboy hat on before, so uh, that added a little extra challenge. At the fair, there was something for all ages, with carnival rides for the kids. And exhibits like the gym's room, where various collections had been judged and awarded either blue or red ribbons. One collection, arranged by Diane Kaido, was awarded Best in Show for her display of horse figurines. This year I wanted to show something that was a little bit different, and I showed the horses that were made during the oil crisis years of the 1970s. That was wonderful. I was really surprised when I came here Wednesday night and found it like this. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I won it. So it was, that was really a nice, nice feeling. And animals like goats, rabbits, chickens, sheep, and horses were in a barn setting for visitors to view and pet if they chose. There was also floriculture, where various plants and flowers were judged for the chance of winning best in show. And music groups like KNS, a husband and wife group dedicated to creating and sharing hip hop music with a positive message, performed on stages throughout the fair. And what better message to be with a positive music? to stop the bullying and youth violence, which is happening all over the world right now. Yes, absolutely. So what we do is we travel to different elementaries, junior high schools, and high schools, talk to kids about bullying awareness, um, stopping the bullying and the youth violence. We do it in a modern-day twist, so we're more of your fun and exciting motivational speakers, and then we give a live concert at the end. R&B hip-hop is what all the kids are listening to right now, and they got to have positive R&B hip-hop. If we don't have positive R&B hip-hop, then you got your other hip-hop that's going to brainwash you. That's so. Right, that's right. So it's all about positivity. On the fourth day of the closing of the fair ground, we're reminded of all the spectacular things that the fair has to offer, including this. <laughs> a once-in-a-lifetime performance by the legendary stick. And this. I'm Julie Marie about Los Angeles.